On behalf of our colleagues at Royal Bank, where community engagement is at the heart of what we do, we would like to acknowledge all of tonight's honorees. At RBC, we know that diversity is the key factor for growth and innovation. Drawing upon our diversity is how we generate ideas and break new ground. It is great to see so many trailblazers from across our community in the crowd tonight. Through your leadership, you're making an important difference in London and surrounding areas. Your contributions are truly inspiring, and you should be proud of the impact you're having on women and men across the region and truthfully across London. Tonight, it is our pleasure to announce Kathleen Murphy as this year's recipient of the Community and Volunteerism Award. Kathleen is a long-standing Rotarian who's been recognized for her community-centered approach and tireless dedication to improving the lives of children here in London and around the globe. RBC believes in kids and supports a wide range of initiatives that help children and youth realize their potential. We are honored to recognize Kathleen's commitment tonight. Congratulations, Kathleen. Kathleen's been involved in so many um, volunteer organizations and a lot of what she has to do is involved with children because I believe that you know she, she can impact these lives when they're very young. 21 years in Girl Guides and Brownies, um, 14 years in uh, International Children's Summer Villages and then uh, laterally in Rotary Youth Exchange where she's hosted five international students who come to learn about Canadian culture. Kathleen just can't be held down. She sees no barriers. If there's a situation, she's going to fight until she finds the answer to that. And I think because she's an occupational therapist that goes very much hand in hand. She sees somebody that has a disability and needs to learn how to go forward in their life and she finds a solution. And she does that in her volunteer work as well. Volunteering was a wonderful way for me to be people here in London. I arrived in 1983. I didn't know anyone. The MS Society had an ad in the newspaper saying they were looking for someone to help them with their client services program. I thought, I can do that. And then I met a neighbour who needed a brown owl for the local brownie group. Again, I had time on my hands so I could do that. That was the start of getting involved with children and from there, opportunities like volunteering with Children's International Summer Villages came forward and my experience working with kids allowed me to apply for that. And what an opportunity three times to take a group of children, four children, to a different part of the world, hang out and be with children from other countries and leaders, and be able to really help children develop a more open-minded approach to various cultures and um, activities. Not only has Kathleen done so much for her local community, but she's been very involved in the worldwide, the bigger humanity picture, a lot of it having to do with the exchange of cultures. Her influence has been vast. She sets standards for her peers of excellence of how to achieve your greatest goals, how to impact others, and how to make a difference in the world. Little did I know by volunteering with children that it would open a door to do some international work with Rotary. Being a Rotarian, I had the opportunity on two occasions to go to Ethiopia to participate in an immunization day, giving children under five two drops so that they would have the ability to fight polio. It is so exciting because now there is no longer polio in Ethiopia and we're this close to eradicating it from around the world. Kathleen sets a, uh, an amazing standard for herself. She gives of her time and energy tirelessly, always looking to fill every minute she has in ways that will help others. She's always there to volunteer, first one to stand in line and say, I can do that. No problem, I can fit that in. I've had a wonderful life, so when I turned 50, I decided it was my turn to give back. With my consult with my husband, we decided I would donate a kidney anonymously. It took a year because they want to make sure you're so healthy, but I was able to give a kidney to someone who I still don't even know who has it. I think it's an opportunity for us in the future to look at how can we encourage more people to consider donating an organ. To the young women of today, take every opportunity to get out there and meet people. Screen time is one thing, but being involved, you will have no idea what kinds of doors that will open for you in the future. So take advantage, get passionate about something, and put whatever time you can towards that cause.